3 John chapter 1 verses 1 to 15. To another was a people through MP3 or YouTube channel on the earth, we'd like to suggest the three questions. Question 1 and verse 7. Because they went forth for his name's sake, taking nothing from the Gentiles. What does it mean? And what can we learn from here? Question 2 in verse 12. The Matthews has a good testimony from all and from the truth itself. And we also bear witness. And you know that our testimony is true. What does it mean? And how can we apply it to our life? In verse 1, 9, and 12, number 1, the other to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth, Verse 9, I wrote it to the church, but Diotrephas, who loves to have the preeminence among them, does not receive us. Demetrius has a good testimony from all and from the truth itself. And we also bear witness, and you know that. Our testimony is true. What are Caius, Theotrephus, and Demetrius? And what can we learn from them? John the Apostle wrote five books in the New Testament. The Gospel of John, the Book of Revelation, and these three letters. 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John. Now, 3 John, verse 1. The elder, John is the elder, was an overseer of the church in Ephesus by tradition, having many spiritual sons, including Polycarp. To the beloved Gaius, Gaius, he might be another person than the three persons known by Paul. Gaius of Macedonia, Gaius Derube, and Gaius Baptist. Book of Acts chapter 19, 29. So the whole city was filled with confusion and rushed into the theater with one accord having seized the Gaius and Aristarchus Macedonians here, Gaius Macedonian, post travel companions. Book of Acts chapter 20 verse 4 and so part of Berea accompanied him to Asia also Aristarchus and Secundus of Thessalonians and Gaius of Derbe, right here Gaius, and Timothy and Tychus and Trophimus of Asia. So all of them is a post travel companions. companions. The first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 14, Paul indicated, I thank God that I baptize none of you except Christus and Gaius. So, but here Gaius, the different guy. By tradition, this particular Gaius was sent by John to be the overseer of the church in Pergamion, so Pergamion was here by tradition, whom I love in truth, truth is Jesus, truth is his word. John loved Gaius in the spirit of truth, so I love in truth, so which means I love Gaius who lives in truth, who works in truth, so truth is Jesus. Also, uh, God's word. So, here, John chapter 
فورتین پرسید جیز سید تو این I am the way I am the truth جیز توز and the life no one come to the father except through me جان چفت فورتین پرسید to spirit of truth so holy spirit make us the lovers the word of God uh, into us to live by every word of God whom the world cannot receive because in neither see him nor so the world non Christian cannot receive the superior truth but you know him you know him you experience him for he dwells with you will be in you so at the time when Jesus uh, uh, said this verse the Holy Spirit was not coming yet Pentecost time Holy Spirit <coughs> come upon to every creature John 4, 15 verse 26 but when the helper comes whom I, I, I shall send to you from the Father Again, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. So spirit of truth will testify of Jesus. John chapter 16, 13, however, when he, the spirit of truth, had come, he will guide you in all truths. So Holy Spirit will guide you in all truths. So, because he will not speak, the Supreme will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. So, and he will tell you things to come. Even the Supreme will tell you the things to come. John chapter 70, verse 70, Jesus prayed to the Father, Sanctify them, all believers, by your truth. Your word is the truth. So, truth is the word and uh, Jesus himself, the spirit of truth. Then, first uh, two, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health. All things in health, tangible things, same thing. Just as you saw prosper, you saw the same thing, intangible thing. So John prays for God's physical blessings, not God's promise. This is I pray, I wish. Just as you saw prosper, God is blessed spiritually as you work in truth in verse 3. You work in truth, you live in truth. I wish it the physical blessing as well as a spiritual blessing. Verse 3. Then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. 
So where is it? You are, you live in truth. You live in the word of God. Or you live by faith. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. For in the righteousness of God, we are seeking God's righteousness. How? Is revealed from faith to faith. So that meaning live by faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. First of all, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children, my spiritual children, walk in truth. That's the joy of the ministries because John once taught the truth to guides who now live in truth or by faith. That's the ministry's great joy. So when you teach it, somebody, somebody live in truth, that's awesome. Verse 5, beloved, that awesome feeling comes from the Lord. So everything through the Lord. Without through the Lord, so, uh, the other thing, all things flesh work. Verse 5, beloved, you do faithfully, whatever you do, keep truth. Or faith, whatever, faithfully. So keep truth, keep faith, whatever, faithfully. Keep faithfully, truth, or faith, whatever. Whatever you do, whatever you do. So that is uh, very uh, important. So keep diligently, truth. Uh, or faith, or not really care, without seizing faith or truth, whatever you do. Here, hospitality or charity to express Jesus' love for the brethren and for strangers, guides gives it in the joining ministers and needy neighbors as himself. So Gaius gave a hospitality charity to the journey ministry or travel ministries and needy neighbors as himself. Matthew chapter 10, verse 11 to 13. Now, whatever city or town you enter, inquire who in it worthy. Stay there till you go out. And when you go into a household, greet it. If the household is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. Which meaning, whenever you minister uh, to uh, somebody, so somebody, uh, if somebody so welcomes you, so you may, you know, give a peace you know, upon them, so they will receive your peace. But uh, somebody not welcome you, that is, uh, you said uh, the peace return to you. So before answering somebody, you said shalom, peace upon you, like that. He will check that in verse two. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For because by so doing, some have unwittingly or unknowingly entertained into angels. So therefore, you should treat uh, uh, the needy neighbors as yourself. You know, in that way, ministers and the neighbors. You know, so it's a person, hospitality, and uh, or charity or generosity uh, to express you know, God's love. One is a ministry instrument of God, the other one is uh, neighbors. So that on God will be words to you. Verse 6, whoever born witness of your love before the church, they have had a good report of your love over the hospitality. If you send them forward on their journey in a manner worthy of God, 
if you send the adjoining ministers to place in a manner worthy of God, give hospitality as you love God, in a manner worthy of God. So you are is a like to love God, you know, a lot to love, God's love, giving to adjoining minister. You will do well. So why? So verse 7. Because they went to falls for his name's sake, because of their ministries for the Lord. So they is uh, travel, they journey uh, is uh, for the Lord. You ask hospitality to the Lord for them. So actually you ask hospitality to the Lord for them. Taking nothing from uh, the Gentiles, they did not receive any support from non christians Because non-believers might have questions the motive of ministers to love the Lord rather than to earn money. So that's why you know, ministries all kinds of salary, that is not its only. That is a uh, reward from the Lord. Also somebody support the ministry that is supporting uh, ministries, the offering to God for ministries. Everything is through uh, the Lord. So, uh, because non-believers might have questions to motive of ministry to love the Lord rather than to earn money. A minister may receive a reward from the Lord as a fruit of his ministry. So that's why the joining ministers receive the reward. So fruit of his ministry, why not present ministry? Not a minister's earning by flesh. So, for example, tithe offering to the Lord for ship. So, tithe offering like uh, to the Lord. So, that one tithe offering uh, might be used the ship or evangelism or charity or ministries in that way. So, everything is uh, to the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14. For the love of Christ compels us, because you judge it this. So, the us, ministry's motive, compelling motive, love of Christ. That if one died for all, then all dies. So, Jesus Christ died for all. So, we die our flesh, our earning matter. That kind of all die. You know, so we all died. Philippians chapter 4, 16 up to 20. For even in Thessalonica, you sent to aid. This one, disciple said, you sent to support the ones. And again, for my necessities. So they made their support, aid, uh, to the Lord for disciple. Not that I seek the gifts. That is, disciple indicate the gifts. That is uh, God's gift. But I seek uh, the fruit that abounds to your account. That's a fruit. Fruit of disciples' ministry. That is a fruit is abound accounted to your account because you made a sport aid to the Lord for Paul. So the Lord will give reward to you abound abundantly. Indeed, I have a and abounds. So I am you know, plentiful. I am full, having received from a far for all the church the things sent from you. A sweat smelling aroma. So this one is a beautiful thing because you made an age to the Lord for me. That one is the fruit of uh, post ministry to the Lord. Uh, that one is, uh, uh, I feel so joyful, sweet aroma. Acceptable sacrifice. God is, uh, <clears throat> because you are aged, you know, offered to the Lord. God is accept, sacrifice, well pleasing to God. 
that is pleased to God. And my God shall supply all you need. God shall supply according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So God will supply everything. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. So all glory to the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. But by grace of God, just like Paul uh, compassed by himself, by the grace of God, in other words, by the gift of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. So Paul's ministry to labor, put in motivation to grace, to love me so much, giving his son for me because of that. That's why what I am, everything by gift of God, in that way. So that's why is a minister take nothing from Gentiles. Non believers. Because this one is not earning by flesh. That is a gift by God uh, through uh, pastorship, the Lordship, made an ace to the Lord for disciple in that way. So, that way, so we should understand. So, all ministers, uh, some salary, support, aids, and whatever. So that one is actually from the Lord. So in the, that kind of sense, very important this one. Otherwise, uh, we are easily compromised. Otherwise, compromised or uprooted materialism, commercialism, or secular. Otherwise, very uh, let me you conclude. Uh, verse 8. We therefore ought to receive search. We should welcome such a joining ministries. So, with the welcome, you know, some joining ministries, in other words, uh, missionaries uh, we uh, should receive welcome. That we may become fellow workers for the truth. So that we may join in the ministries for the truth or the word of God. So fellow workers, so we may join in the same ministry. So we, you accept in a joining minister, you are there is, uh, uh, you support, you aim, that is, uh, you support in that way. So the average is the center is the Lord. And this is the main thing. In the substance is over Christ the Lord. Substance of the Lord. Knowledge of the Lord. The substance of the Lord. That is the main thing. Then it's the uh, next one, verse 9. I wrote to the church, but dear trespass. Who loves us to have the preeminence? Loves us to be the first. So no humble. Theotrephus had begun to rebel against the legacy, against John the Apostle. Matthew chapter 23, verse 10 to all. Do not be called the teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ. So the teacher ultimately master the Christ. So we should be humble uh, servants, but he who is the greatest among you shall be your servant. And whoever exalt himself will be humble, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. So Diotrephus is uh, not you know, humble. So against yes, he want to be uh, first, so not humble. So, Second uh, Corinthians chapter one verse seven. Did I commit to sin in humbling, humbling myself 
that you might be guilty. So because if you humble yourself, the consequently, naturally, you will be guilty. Because I preach the gospel of God to you, free of charge, without even receiving anything. So that's why it's non-belief. Mm -hmm. So we don't receive you know, any support, any aid. If I must boast, I will boast in the things which concern my infirmity or my weakness. So in that way, so this guy is not humble, you know, but uh, is a boast. So does not receive, does not work on two ministries, but John warned the elect lady not to receive the first ministries. This one is the second John chapter one verses two, nine to ten. We have a transgressed does not abide in the doctrine of Christ. Primitive doctrine of Christ, uh, Hebrews chapter six verse one to two, uh, such as apostles creed. You know, somebody does not accept the apostles in the kind thing. Does not have a God he who abides in the doctrine of Christ has the birth of the Father and Son who might deny Jesus, son of God, so also Jesus is man. So in that one, false doctrine, if anyone comes to you for some property, does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him, do not, do not welcome him into your house, no greeting, do not greet them. So in that one, is, we see. This is a, but the dual trespass case is a true minister, true journey minister, but uh, he is, uh, did not, you know, uh, welcome them, greet them. Uh, so does not uh, welcome or, you know, greet the ministries. Verse 10. Therefore, if I come, John, I will call to mind his deed, your trespass deed, which he does. So, uh, and John will book or correct the old practice, practicing against us with malicious words, chattering with bad words against John and other journey ministers. He himself, does not receive the brethren, the old Trevor himself does not welcome, greet the journey mini ministries, forbid those who wish to, he stops, he blocked those who want to welcome, to greet ministries, so he is uh, prohibited. Putting them out of the church, putting the journey uh, ministers from the church where he goes to. That is a particular against the gospel of the Psalm chapter 105 verse 10, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophet no harm. That's why David did not, you know, uh, the talk did not kill in a soul who pursued uh, David. So, you know, David uh, was uh, hidden in the cave, but his soul and soul uh, soldiers followed uh, uh, David, but they uh, went to do that cave, but David did not kill. So, so that is a kind of a very good example. So we see that. Verse 11, Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Do imitate what is good, not what is evil or what is bad. Here is God's goodness, the good meaning, God's goodness, Psalm chapter 16, verse 2. O oh my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my goodness is nothing apart from you. So God's goodness is nothing apart from you. God's goodness, 
always uh, uh, from God. So, is uh, he who does good is of God because that goodness, God's goodness. So therefore, you are doing God's goodness that is belong to God. Whoever does good belongs to, to God. Who does evil has not seen God. Whoever does evil doesn't know God. First Timothy chapter six verse eighteen. Let them do good. God's goodness here. That they be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share. So that is uh, explanation of uh, hospitality charity, willing to share. Verse 12, Demetrius, third person, have a good testimony from all. A good brother, like the guy who has good testimony, in other words, good report from all, from many people. From the truth itself, according to the word of God itself. So basically, he had a good report from people, also from the word of God itself, per se. And we also bear witness. We also have evidence or proof to Demetrius is Good creature. You know that our testimony is true. You know that our statement, our report is true. Verse 13, I have many things to write. John said in John chapter 21, verse 25, and there are also many other things that Jesus did, which if they were written one by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Amen. So therefore, so many Christians books, so many Christians books, so continually coming up until to fill up the world. So that's a possible. But here, essence is the Bible per se. Okay, essence the Bible per se. So whatever question, we should check the Bible. So discerner is the Bible. This is very important. So text is the Bible. Not that you know other book you know cannot be uh, Bible. So so many Christian books, in other words, that they are, you know, there's so many supplementaries, so many supplementaries. Our body is a substance. Essence is the Bible, per se. Verse 14. But I do not wish to write to you with pen and ink, but I hope to see you shortly, in other words, soon, and we will speak face to face. Peace to you, Shalom. Our friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. Say hello to them by the names of our, of our friends. So say hello to a particular person, the my friends, by his uh, my friends' names in that way. <laughs> So we are uh, covered uh, all three questions. So let's sing all together. Amazing.